we're going to take a look at Saluda Farms. Come along with us. Through CTAR, the College of Tropical Ed from the University of Hawaii, we had the opportunity to go on a tour to Sumida Farms. The Sumida Farm was founded in 1928 by Makio and Moriichi Sumida on five acres of the Kalaau Springs land. Here's the Sumida Farm's mascot, Mr. Turtle. Here's some asparagus they're growing. <laughs> yeah, all along the sides of the field, you can see little patches of green. That's just all different garden patches that the workers tend themselves. So we just let them grow whatever they want and they can take. A couple are scattered throughout. So if you want, you can go in, but I don't know if you want to go in, you can get your feet wet. But it's pretty cool, it's pretty cold. It's usually around 60 to 70 degrees. Uh, this is one of the smaller ones. We have a few posted along the edge by that wall, and that's what feeds this entire farm. Along the perimeter of the watercress farm, like this back wall, are the farm workers' mini vegetable garden. I tasted it. It's kind of weird. <laughs> uh, apparently, you make salads or you can boil it. But yeah. So the field workers, they go and harvest that every so often. They'll bunch it up and then you can buy it from them at the flea markets whenever they decide to sell. The watercress are harvested after eight weeks and they're harvested by rows. The workers come in about 5 a.m. in the morning and end their day at about 11. If you look carefully, their pathways are made with hollow tiles. The hollow tiles are used to redirect the water flow. If it's flowing too fast, they turn the tile into the direction where they want it to go. So this whole, along this whole wall is just little springs like this. And then the main one is right under that tree. It's kind of a giant, like... Here is the delivery that we happen to witness taken from the walk-in cooler going into the back end of a truck. In the fresh spring water you can find many things like this, these clams, you can find mosquito fish, crayfish, and even tadpoles. The tour ended with this delicious mini snack of the bim bim bop with watercress, inari sushi with sukiyaki 
and kimchi watercress. Then there was a watercress salad and they had two special dressing and also some watercress soda with the secret recipe. Everything was delicious. Our tour guide was Elijah and here he is posing with the meal that he prepared for us.